you've chosen to support Dave McCormick. And, and the timing doesn't seem entirely coincidental. No, it's not. Can you talk about that? Dr. Oz's record on issues is radically different than it was, let's say, a year or two ago. You know, one of the things I found, particularly with celebrities, they love being loved. And, um, and in Washington, you, as a conservative, you don't get any love. You get zero love. <laughs> And so it, it just worries me going to a place that if you stand by things that you're now newly involved with, the newly you know, conservative issues, uh, it might be, a, might be a, uh, an interesting and, and unpredictable dynamic. Donald Trump has endorsed Oz. What does that mean? Uh, that means he's, you know, he gets, a, he gets a, you know, a lot of wind at his back. But in the end, people love Donald Trump in this state, but they're gonna vote for the candidate they trust to be a conservative in Washington. And that's going to be Dave McCormick. Is, is the Trump factor waning in Republican politics, do you think? Um, look, I think Trump is still, you know, the 800-pound gorilla in Republican politics. But look, as time goes on, people, you know, you know sort of move on. And, and I think uh, all things being equal, you want his endorsement as opposed to not wanting his endorsement. But in a race like this, I don't think it means as much. Uh, in, in, in a race where people don't know the candidates as much, then it means a lot. Of